everyone, and welcome back. We are back with more of Tokyo Xanadu EX Plus. Last time we managed to defeat the angel that, and it, that was a part of Rion. And then in the side story, we had, um, We had Mitsuki and Asuka give Rion a little test to make sure she would be able to control her powers. And now we have charged, started Chapter 7, as you can see. And... I think I finished all the side quests, but... And now I gotta do some... Or... Well, no, I think I only started the side quest. So, yeah, I still got more to do. And then I have some free time events also. So, let's, let's continue. And there's Rion on the title screen now. Okay, let's see. What what do I still have to do? Yeah, see, I still got three quests to do. I gotta go to... We'll go to Memor Morimiya Memorial Park next. Well, I guess I'll save that for last since that's where the story will continue also. So, let's see. Where else did I need to go? Station Square. down the stairs over here. Excuse me, are you Mitsue Koizumi? <coughs> I saw your post on the R. Oh, thank goodness, someone finally came. It was my first time doing anything on this DR thing, so I was worried. No worries, you did everything just fine. You said you were looking for a time capsule? I do want to ask them first, though. Are you sure you want a total stranger to look for it? Well, I suppose I should explain your circumstances. I'm looking for that time capsule for my grandson, Yusuke. Come again? My grandson, Yusuke, spends all of his time being a wastrel and a shiftless layabout. Whenever I tell him to start thinking about his future, he just ignores me. And he was such a nice boy when he was younger, too. He loved his grandfather. One day they wrote down their dreams and buried them in a time capsule. I think that if he reads them, he might start focusing on his future again. So that's what's going on. So is his grandfather... Yes, he passed away two years ago. However, I didn't really know much about the time capsule. Could you please help me find it? Of course, I'd be happy to help. But if it was hidden 15, 16 years ago, it's going to be impossible to find without clues. Well, when he was still alive, my husband did mention it to me a few times. If you want to find the treasure, go to the house where gods live. And look at the horses that bring wishes. That's how he described it. I hope that's enough to go on. If you want to find the treasure, go to the house where gods live and look at the horses that bring wishes. Sounds like a riddle, but it's clear enough. Got it, I'll start looking around. Thank you so much. Started quest, treasure beyond time.
first hint is if you want to find the treasure, go to the house where gods live and look at the house horses that bring wishes. Go to where the gods reside and look amongst the horses that bring wishes. That has to mean the em em Emma charms at the shrine. I remember seeing an old Emma. Where is it? Hmm? This one? The treasure beyond time, proprietor of a long beloved store, who brings smiles to children, no switch path to take. I wish all the best to my grandson, Ipe Koizumi. Proprietor of a long beloved store who brings smiles to children knows which path to take. Koizumi, same last name as the grandmother. This must be the one. Proprietor of a long beloved store who brings smiles to children. I wonder, could it be them? Alright, let's go hit them up. Okay. I think I know where they're talking about. Let me, let me see. Yep. The corner of stores of old. That could only mean shopping street. The owner who brings smiles to children. Wonder if they mean Grandma Chio. Hey, can I ask you a question? Oh my, what is it? I'm looking for something. Did someone drop something off here like 20 years or so ago? Something about a treasure beyond time? Dropped off? 20 years ago? Oh yes, there was an interesting regular that we had back then. It was old man Kozumi. He loved playing with kids and came by all the time with his grandchild. Really? I wonder if the grandson was... One day he left a piece of paper with me saying it was a part of a game. Hold on, let me go look for it. Here it is, I found it. Let me take a look at... Okay, what does it say? The dream of my young grandson, this treasure beyond time, I entrusted it to the gatekeeper at the entrance of the deep forest. Entrance of the deep forest. There's only one place around here that comes close to that description. Oh ho ho! It seems you enjoy playing the same game, Ko. Haha, <laughs> something like that. Thanks, you were a big help. Oh, go out and play, but make sure you don't get hurt. Okay, that's gotta be the park. <sighs> Which I was trying to avoid to act to avoid accidentally triggering the story, but I guess I don't have a choice now. Today's gig is... We're not doing that yet. <laughs> At the boathouse. Man, you can know, somehow find the most random jobs. Is being the receptionist at a boat rental place really an appropriate job for a high school student? Whatever, it's fine. I'll go talk to them once I finish up with my other errands. Oh, I didn't expect to see you here. Huh? Oh yeah, you're my client. What are you doing here? I came to check up on Yusuke. He's always skateboarding in this park. Yahoo! Speak of the devil. Yusuke, wait! Sorry, but I have to get going. I'll leave fun in the time capsule to you. Of course, I'll take care of it. 
The riddle is deep forest and the gatekeeper at the entrance. We should look here too. Entrance to the deep forest, guarded by the gatekeeper. Maybe it means this tree here? Burying a time capsule under a tree is so cliche it hurts. So naturally. Alright, time to start digging. I received permission from the owner of the park and began digging. Huh? There's something here. I uncovered a small time capsule. <laughs> Looks like my hunch was right. Okay, I'm going to assume they're both at the park still. I should take this over to them now. Oh, there they are. Hey, I found the time capsule. Oh, really? That used to be able to. Grandma, seriously, just go away. Why should I care about some stupid old time capsule? I mean, I liked playing with Grandpa when I was a kid and all, but... Your grandfather told me he put your dream into it. Anyways, just try opening it and see it. Jesus, stop nagging me already. Ugh, fine, you win. I just have to open it, right? So I'll open it. But stop pestering me after this. Yusuke took the time capsule and opened it. Inside the capsule was a handmade sword, a beautiful stone, and two sheets of paper. I made a treasure with Grandpa. A sword that slays dragons in a sphere of courage. The sword is powerful enough to defeat any bad guy, but dragons are scary, so you need courage to use it. Ball of Courage gives me the bravery of a hundred adults, so I can use the sword like a hero. When I grow up, I'll get stronger and stronger, so I can beat up bad guys around the world. Well, so once I become an adult, I'll use these two treasures to bring peace to the world. Yusuke, I love that you always dream big and that you make every day a joy. I want you to leave this time. I want to leave you this time capsule so I could remind you of this time in the future. When you're an adult, you'll probably be much different than you were as a child. You may be facing difficult situations which might worry you. But don't fret and stay calm. Once you're an adult, you will be ready to go after your true dreams and not just the fantasies of childhood. Now's the time to move forward and make your dreams a reality. You already have the spirit and the courage. There's no way of knowing what the future may hold for you. But stay strong and never give up. To my dear grandson from Grandpa. This is... Your grandfather knew that a kid's dreams are fleeting at best, but they can give you the strength to do anything if you put your mind to it. Grandpa. I didn't realize how much of a jerk I was until now. People keep telling me stuff and I don't want to hear it. I forgot about my time with Gramps, too. But hearing stuff like this from him, even after he... Yusuke, I'm so sorry. I've always been pestering and nagging at you without ever trying to help. I should have asked you about how you felt and about what you wanted to do. Nah, it's not on you, Grandma. <laughs> now that I've been reminded of things, I mean, it's hard to put into words. But I know that while I'm not going to be changing overnight or anything, maybe I'll start thinking about the future. At least for short-term stuff. It seems like you finally understand, Yusuke. You really are such a good boy.
Okay, I'm back. Grandma, I'm sorry I made you worry about me like that. <laughs> it was a serious pain in the ass, but I pulled it off in the end. Eh, it didn't take that long, really. And I'm glad I was able to find it. Maybe now his grandfather will rest in peace. Or party in the afterlife. Either or. Completed the quest, Treasure Beyond Time. Mitsu gave you a horn charm as thanks. Obtained 700 gems. Go's virtue increased. Well, since I'm already here, I might as well go do that other side quest. That was here. Let's see. Um, okay, it's over there. I take you just saw my post on the R. Yep, you're Mr. Takeuchi, right? You mentioned that someone you were supposed to meet up with never showed. Yes, that's right. This person was supposed to meet me almost two weeks ago, so it's been a while. T two weeks ago? Um, you do have a cell phone, right? Have you tried calling your friend? Yes, but her answers have been evasive. I assume some of the ventures has caught her attention, thus causing her to forget her meeting plans. However, I have several reasons for wanting to speak with her as soon as possible. Could you find this person and then escort her here? Uh, do I really want to go through the hassle of finding this person? Well, if I have time, I don't mind helping, but... Okay, as long as you think she's more or less in the area. So, can you describe your friend to me? Hmm, let me see. She's around 5 feet 4 inches. Kind of on the tall side for a woman. So, 5'4". Okay, what else? She's about 20 years old, give or take. She's Caucasian with longish blonde hair. Oh, would it be shortish? Oh, and she has purple eyes. 20 year old blonde with longish hair? Her name is Ari. She's an exchange student from Poland. Whoa now, why do these two know each other? As you can imagine, stands out in the crowd and several people on the yard were mocked on her. She seemed to have been greased on the side in front of the station, although it could be only rumor. I don't want any of us to miss us, so I can't leave to go look for her. Can you go in my stead? Sure, come on it. There's so much wrong with this whole deal. For now, I'll go poke around the, st at the station. Start a quest in search of.
Excuse me, can I ask you something? Oh, what is it? I'm looking for someone. She's a foreign exchange student, has blonde hair. Have you seen her around here? Oh, you're looking for her? She was here a while ago. She asked if there was a big bookstore in the area. I told her about Books Orion nearby. Really? Thanks. You're very welcome. Let's check the store first before I go looking for her. Hi, Ko. Are you looking for reference books, too? I'm actually looking for a person today. She's an exchange student from... Oh, you mean Irie? She asked about a few books because she's interested in Japanese culture and traditions. She also asked about literature anthologies. It was great being able to recommend a few to her. <laughs> nice to know that she's serious about it. She's that serious about it. But her Japanese is really that good, huh? Yeah, she said she majored in Japanese back in her home country. That's why she came to study in Japan, apparently. Anyway, I think she went to Brick Alley to look for something. Brick Alley. Thanks, you're a lifesaver. Really? Well, good luck, Ho. Excuse me, do you have a sec? I took a few mo minutes to ask about I talk about Irie. Sorry, no idea. If she stood out that much, I would definitely remember seeing her. Yet more fail. Excuse me, do you have a minute? I asked about Irie's possible whereabouts. An exchange student from Poland? I don't think I've seen anyone like that. They haven't seen her either. Sorry, do you have a sec? I asked about Irie. A blonde foreigner? Sorry. I haven't seen her. I see. That's odd. No one saw her. She seems like she'd draw a lot of attention. So somebody had to have seen her. Crap. Maybe she got spirited away. I should check out that minor labyrinth that picked, popped up in Brick Galley during the fog. Alright. Okay, Scarlet Labyrinth. Let's see. Shadow, Wind, 
and spirit. You're searching for is lost in the depths. Clear the stage and reach the goal.
対しなく貫けそれ結界よ駆け抜けるしかねえだろ貫けやったレアモノじゃんハーミットセルレアスラッシュンしますね、ハーミットセン駆け抜けるしかねえだろ結界よここは一気に駆け抜けるしか
I figured we'd find her here in the eclipse. Her not combatant is surprising to see her safe and sound. She must you must have shit looked to end up here. Anyway, we should get her out of here ASAP. For now, we should help out as best we can. We were able to successfully rescue and safeguard Irie. And it wasn't long before she regained consciousness. Uh, uh, where am I? Ah, oh, good. Glad to see you're awake. It seems she regained most of her strength as well. Um, is it okay if we ask you a few questions about how you got here? Sure, you see, I was doing research for a school project. What? For school? I'm doing a paper on Japanese folklore for university. Since coming to Japan, the beauty of the culture has continued to touch my very soul. So I want to make Japanese spirituality and empathy the central theme of my thesis. And during the course of your studies, you somehow got lost. Strong feelings like hers do cause links to the Eclipse of War. She might have been drawn in because of her feelings. I see. Anyway, Big Ali is a wonderful place, isn't it? This temple-like building with the dome, color combined with the red bricks. It's also very mysterious. It seems that they designed the area with Taisho era construction and architecture in mind. Who could have guessed that it's so perfectly embodied? Ah, oh, I just remembered something. Everyone... Thank you. Yeah, I don't know how to say that word. I'm sure this would help flesh out my report a lot. It seems she was just doing her homework. <laughs> And it seems like she thinks this is Brick Alley. Hmm. I guess she's one of those people who just go with the flow. Haha. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad to see you're safe. She, uh, she has people wondering where she is, so we'd better get her out of here soon. 
Let's make sure she makes it back to her friends. Definitely, that's a good idea. Don't forget that we need to do something about our memories of this place. Afterwards, we escorted Irie out of the labyrinth. In addition, Asuka erased all of Irie's memories of the eclipse before reuniting her with Takeuchi. So you finally decided to arrive. Let me guess, you saw something intriguing and lost track of time? A bad habit of yours, really. Ahaha, <laughs> you, you got me. Sorry about that. <laughs> but something good did come out of it in the end, though. Here you go. I know I'm really up against the due date, but I'd like to return to turn it in now. Ari handed what appears to be a lengthy report to Takeuchi. The evolution of kawaiiness and Japanese anime character design. My dear Ari, this is the final product of your three months of research and fieldwork. Yuppers! Um, sorry, but I'm not really following what's going on here. I mean, I thought you two were... You know. Oh, that's right. I haven't properly introduced myself yet. My name is Takuchi, and I'm a pro and I'm a professor of folklore at Tokyo University. I come to this park often for field work, so I thought you might have known already. First, I've heard of it. Why the hell would I know that? And he's from Tokyo University? Seriously? I'm one of his students. Walking around Moramiya City was part of my field work. So that's what this was about. Ugh, it all makes sense now. You really helped me out a lot. Thanks to you, I won't fail my class after all. That still depends on how I grade your paper. But putting that aside for now, it is true that he went above and beyond to help. And it seems Ira was so focused on a pursuit, she put herself into no small amount of danger. Come again. Hmm? Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. Receive three spirit stones. Thanks. Wait, this stuff is from... Who is this guy? Farewell for now. Be careful when returning home. Yup, as the Japanese saying goes, the picnic doesn't end until you return home. <laughs> yeah, I'm exhausted. Way too much drama involved with this, but at least it's over with. Completed the quest in search of. Obtained 700 gems. Ko's virtue increased. Okay, I think I still have one more side quest to do. Oh yeah, Akros Tower. Sorry, I'm here because of the post on the R. You're the one who's looking for someone to work at the summer festival, right? Oh, so you saw it. Thank you. You'll be a big help. Let me see. Height, check. Body type, check. You seem to be in decent enough shape, too. Alright, the job's yours. You can start immediately, right? So slow down. I still don't even know what the job is all about. Oh, my bad. I just got a little overly excited there. You're good with me going over everything now, right? Our schedule is super tight, so I'd rather you just jumped into things, but oh well. Okay, got it. So, what's the job? Keep in mind, I have something else lined up for later, so I'm only available until then. Really? Okay, then let's just cut the ch to the chase. Basically, you need to don the costume and play the part of Morimaru. So, you want me to be the guy inside? Exactly. You've heard about the Morimiya Summer Festival that kicks off at the end of the, this month, right? Morimaru was picked to be the... What do you call himself? 
The hype fairy for the festival's PR push. I need you to become more tomorrow for a day and cover all the marketing events we had planned. Right now? This is way out of the blue. Besides, don't you already have an actor who's supposed to be doing all this stuff? Of course we do, but something unexpected came up. The actual Moromaru threw his back out. Come again? You see, city mascots have been become super popular lately, so Moromaru has been going all out. So the guy who normally wears the costume strained his back pretty bad. Badly. Uh, I see. That's unfortunate. At this point, I just need a warm body, hence why I made that post on the R. Getting back on topic, I need you to dress up as Moromaru and do all of his event appear appearances. Your responsibilities include not only promoting the summer festival, but also Moromiya City itself. Carrying the few success of our city's events on your shoulders. Sounds like a blast, right? Nope. Not falling for that BS. You seriously want a clueless amateur like me doing something this important? And to be honest, I know less than nothing about Moromaru. That's the last thing I'm worried about. Tomoko! Coming! I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. She works in one of the shops here in the tower and is a huge Morimaru fan. She's such a big fan that she moved to Morimiya just so she could work here. I heard about what happened. I'll just tag along with Morimaru here and give advice as needed. Come on, we can do this. Uh, just hold on. You say we can do this, but... Whoa, sorry. I have to get back to City Hall right now. Tomoko will fill you in on the rest of the details. It's all up to you guys. Have fun! Wait! He's gone. He must be super busy. It looks like the City Hall folks tried to cram as many events as possible into today's schedule. It looks like they're seriously overworked over there. Fuck. <laughs> Buckle ducks, whatever. Fine, I'll do the best I can. Sorry, but I'm going to really need you to help me out with this. <laughs> Just leave it to me. Alright then, let's head to the dressing room. For more Mario Wait! I went to the dressing room and put on the work uniform that was waiting for me. While I was given a basic overview and summary about all things on more Mario. The government really works hard to do nothing sometimes. Yeah, it looks that way. Hey, Soup, how you doing tonight? Is it always like this? I mean, it's really hard to move around in this thing. Yuppers, but you're not doing bad at all. I think you're starting to get the vibe. Today's plan, start at Akros Tower, then move to the Nanahoshi Mall, and end the day in Station Square. At each location, you have to do some PR stuff for the Summer Festival in a Morimaru-like way. Morimaru-like, huh? Now I'm worried. I know I told you this, but Morimaru is a fairy born in the Memorial Park Grove during the war. <laughs> oh god, I hope that is a costume being used in battle. Uh, I guess we'll find out when this, this side quest is over. I know I told you this, but Morimaru is a fairy born in the Memorial Park Grove during the war. He also does this super adorable dance with a sword out to slice and dice everyone's worries away. Everyone's worries. Outside of that, talk flamboyantly and over the top, touched with cynicism, and you're golden. Uh, I see. Never expected him to be so darkly worldwise. Oh yeah, it's summer, so don't forget to stay hydrated. How is he supposed to drink anything in that getup? There's a hole under the sleeve to pass things through, so I'll try to sneak you a drink or something. Oh, uh, okay. Thank God for that, but shouldn't I do that out of sight? Alright, let's get going. Since Maru is just a masculine ending to a name in this context, his name is essentially Forrester. Oh, okay. Let's go, Morimaru! Y yeah I'm also very looking forward to it. Yay. <laughs> I don't know if that's the voice I'm supposed to give the character he's playing or not. And so I began the Morimaru Summer Festival PR Eventathon. Start a quest, Summer Shilling. Let's PR. Hippie Bo Skippy! <laughs> Hey, it's Morimaru! Yay, yay! He's so cute! Oh my god, I gotta take some pictures. Damn, this character's super popular. Gotta admit, it's awesome being the center of attention. Alright, I'm supposed to come up with a Morimaru-esque greeting to wow the audience. What would be a Morimaru-esque greeting anyway? Uh. I feel like it would be the first one. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay, let's give it a try. 
How is everyone this fine day? The heart and soul of Moramiya, Moramaru is here! <laughs> Moramaru, over here! I, the magnificent Moramaru, and the official hype fairy for this year's summer festival. And again, I am oh so very happy to be here today. Wow, there's going to be a summer festival? <laughs> the hype fairy, that's awesome. Do your best, Moramaru. Aha, uh -huh, I guess I pulled it off. Tokusaka, you're doing fantastic! I know you weren't around when I played the game Soccer Wars, but this reminds me of when the main character of that game had to pretend to be the mascot, only in this case he couldn't even move around, he was just standing inside a statue on site. <laughs> yeah, definitely, everyone is getting really excited. <laughs> I gotta take a picture of this. Yay, it's Moramaru! Ha <laughs> smile! Did you ever play the one on the Wii? No, that was- the one on the PS4 was actually the first one I ever played. If I still had my Wii, I'd probably try to hunt down that game. But sadly, I don't. Let's make the next summer festival a great one! Oh, I didn't know they'd be doing something here at the mall. It's pretty fun, it takes place in New York. Yeah, I actually, when I was streaming it, I actually had a viewer that knew a lot about Soccer Wars. Uh, she's actually someone I know on Discord. In fact, you might have seen her around a few times. It's Maddie. But yeah, she's a v very big Soccer Wars fan, and she told me a lot about the Wii game. <laughs> the mascot characters have, that have they have in Japan are all very impressive. Uh, we should have Saburo. We should have advised Saburo too. Oh, hi, June. Oh boy. June is here too. I better make sure he doesn't find out. Just coming out here from the tower was exhausting. I need to get some water somewhere or I'm gonna pass out. Moramaru! Here you go. Drink it if you want. Haruko handed over a drink with a straw in it. Wow, I really, really want to drink it right now, but... <laughs> Going to? Well, what's going on? People are starting to stare at me. Well, what should I do? Uh, I, uh, I don't know. YOLO. <laughs> Uh, should I take it now? Should I do it now or save it? He was kind of in the mindset he shouldn't be- he shouldn't drink it in front of people because of how it has to be done.
How does it have to be done? Uh, the woman behind him, the one in the blue blouse and brown skirt, said something about there being a hole somewhere in the costume to hand, to hand him a drink. <laughs> And so because of that he I guess I guess he's afraid of freaking out the audience if he um if he did it in front of people. <laughs> so I guess because of that maybe save it for later. <laughs> I'll enjoy it later. What? Oh, you're not going to drink it right now? Uh-huh. Toki Saka, there's a hole under your sleeve. I thought we weren't supposed to do it in front of people. That's how it always is, so go ahead. In that case, woohoo, I'm so thirsty. I drank through the hole in the sleeve. Ha <laughs> ha, there it is. Yeah, it's not a real Morimaru event without something like this. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> I don't get these mascot characters nowadays. You think? I don't get it either. Uh, again, at least you get to do that, unlike the main character of Sakura Wars. <laughs> Hello? Oh, Chica? What? Really? Alright, I'll be right back. I I'm sorry, the store at the tower is bustling thanks to the Morimaru effect. I need to go help out, so can you make your way to the location on your own? What? I can't do this alone. <laughs> it's alright. You've overcome lots of stuff on your own. And anyway, there will be other staff there to help you. I... I need to get back. Good luck. Hey! Oh crap, she already left. Well, I guess it can't be helped if it's work-related. I guess it happens all the time. Anyway, the next place is the last stop of the gig better get to it. It's rough to be a mascot at Disneyland, yeah, I bet. Phew, I made it on time. Normally that walk only takes three minutes or so. Uh, the stupid costume makes everything harder. Folks who do this all the time have it rough. What's that? A crowd? Wow, his face is so tiny. He's got this aura around him. He's, he's here! Okay, I thought I recognized her. Right this way, Moromaru! Is she a speaker member? Yep. Morimaru-chan. <laughs> Um, what do you mean by, let's do our best? <laughs> no, we weren't told that. <laughs> commercial. I see. She sure is an idol. Wait, a commercial? Why didn't anyone tell me about this? Morimiya <laughs> Why didn't the City Hall people tell me about this? Uh, I think he left out a lot of details, actually. Um, I, uh... Morimaru and Haruna, let's have a quick meeting before we start filming. Uh, <laughs> I can't imagine the chaos that will occur if I tell them I don't know what's going on. Crap. I just took the job, so I guess I have to finish what I started. After that, Haruna and, and I joined the meeting. While not in the right places, I need to figure out what the hero Morimaru needs to do. 
えたい思いがある I get the flow of the scene. It seems like I just have to dance around to the music behind Haruna. The dance is easier than I thought it'd be. I managed to get some practice in, so I should be fine. But that final pose is way too corny and predictable. Alright, let's start filming! Five, four, three... Just do it as I was shown. Just let it flow. <laughs> And now, what potion more Mara do? I don't know. Uh I wasn't told what to do. I mean he was, but I wouldn't. Uh, I guess this. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. This one. Go through! <laughs> and cut! That's a wrap! <laughs> Alright, I did it! And with that, I managed to muddle my way through the shoot. Chekhov's gun principle. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much. Thank God it's over. I didn't think I was going to have to do all that. You too. I guess it's hard being an idol and everything. <laughs> Yeah, she figured out it was him. What? Uh, how did you know? やっぱりもしかしたらって思ってたんです。打ち合わせの時、声の抑揚や間が前に話した時と印象が似ていましたから。Gotta admit, that's pretty amazing. I assume you trained your ear for your singing and acting stuff? Because you just told her, well, yeah, there's that too. Alright, I'll make it a point to go soon. Man, first Rion and now her. Those girls are something else. Afterwards, Tomoko showed up and we returned to Akros Tower together. After taking off the Morimaru suit, I reported to the city hall worker. Well done. Very well done. It must have been pure hell in this heat. You really pulled through for us. I'm so sorry for leaving you on your own in the middle of everything. They never said anything about you having to shoot a commercial. I have to apologize about that too. Things got really hectic and I guess the message never got delivered. <laughs> no worries. Ah, oh, poop. I hope the costume would stay on. Yeah. I mean, so much was happening all at once. But everything worked out due to everyone's hard work. And I have to admit, it was definitely an experience I couldn't have anyway, anywhere else. Tokusaka. Thanks. Hearing you say that makes me feel a heck of a lot better. Anyway, it's safe to say that all the PR events were a huge success. All of us in City Hall were pl are planning on going all out to make the Summer Festival a success. I hope the event will make your summer one to remember. Haha, <laughs> thanks. I'll definitely be looking forward to the festival more than ever now. Completed the quest, Summer Shilling, Less PR. Received 5,000 yen as payment. Got 700 gems. Ko's Virtue increased. Ko's Virtue level is now generous. Ko's Wisdom slightly increased. Yeah, I messed up one time. Hmm... 
Nope, didn't get it. Oh, we don't get the summer uniform, at least not yet. Okay, I think that was all of the... I think that was all the side quests, so now I can... Go do some... Free time events. Work calls, maybe another quest will pop up later. Uh, like I said, I've done... Well, maybe. We'll see. Welcome to the stream. How you doing tonight? What the heck is this? Yeah, let me see what this is. I'm well, almost done with grooming dogs for the day. Oh, okay. Well, glad to hear you're doing okay. I'm glad you could tune in tonight. First day back after a week's staycation. Ah, okay. HP increased by 200. Nice. Oh, and it got some soul points, too. Well, that's good. Guess it was worth getting for that. First grade, they grow up. Oh. Uh, needed to relax and also adjust to the school schedule for my daughter. First grade, they go up quick. Aw. That's sweet. Okay, let's see. Um... Who do I want to hang out with? I've got four points. Let's see. Uh, I guess I better hang out with Asuka at least. I don't want to hang out with June. Let's see, where's June at? Uh, is that Nanahoshi Mall? I got three tickets for the event at Nanahoshi Mall the other day. If you use them at stores in the mall, you'll get gifts and other free stuff. Oh yeah, I heard something about that. I guess it's limited to only run through July. Haha, <laughs> right. They expire today, so I wanted to use them, but... Hmm. Why don't we check out the stores we don't usually go to? Any ideas? Should I wander around the mall in June? June, you know if you want, I'll go with you. I'm kind of curious about what they're handing out. Really? Oh, that'd be great. It looks like one ticket can be used up for, for up to two people. Why don't we check out some stuff together? We explore the mall, check out stores I don't usually go to, go into. Using the ticket here will give you a discount on casual glasses. 
Then let me pick something out. The ones over here don't have prescription lenses in them. Hey, those look pretty good on you. Really? <laughs> it definitely feels different. How about these, Ko? <laughs> hmm. They make you look kind of menacing. Uh, that's not true. I think they look cool. Let's try out other stuff. Hey, look at the Yuki... Hey, look at the Yukiko glasses over there. Uh, okay. Oh, so I can take cosplay photos if I use the ticket? Yep, yep, this is going to be a blast. Oh, that's right. Ko, get over here. Yo, June, what the hell are you doing with my clothes? Don't worry about it. And we can't forget this. And done. Oh my gosh! <laughs> now I better as heck get this costume to wear in battle. <laughs> or to have a clip anyway. What the? This is myth. This is Magical Girl Lissa's arch nemesis, Demon Prince Reen. I knew you'd look good in a coat. I'm never going to live this down, am I? Ugh, I'm taking this off right now. Hey, wait, I didn't take a photo yet. <laughs> I'll take the picture you'd like. Oh, I know, June, you should dress as Magical Girl Lissa and then you can pose together. That's an awesome idea. It is? <laughs> oh my gosh. And just like that, two of the three tickets were used. Afterwards, the last ticket was planned to be used for a massage. However... I'm sorry, but all the ticketed slots are currently full. Right now, the current wait is about 30 minutes or more. Oh, really? Ko has to go to work soon, so maybe we should go to another store. Hmm, what should we do? Is there any other store you want to visit? Uh, how about the fortune teller next door? Seems like you can have your fortune told with the ticket. A fortune teller, huh? I've heard people say she's really good. It's not something I'm interested in, so I never came around here. Uh, let's just try it out. I've visited in the past. It's scary how accurate the fortune teller is. We're here anyway. Wanna go? Sure, why not? Since you seem up for it. Let's go inside. Welcome <laughs> <笑>大丈夫です。よろしくお願いします。それでは。どうやら<笑> 互いを信頼し合える良き関係が続くという暗示も出ています。本当ですか? <笑> どのような運命をたどるにしてもそれさえ忘れなければ途切れることはないでしょうどうかお忘れなくああ気もに命じますえ、that uh, wasn't ominous at all <laughs> after the fortune telling session we decided to take a break for a minute mm. 
最後の占いはちょっと気になることを言われちまったが<笑>でも楽しかったじゃないコウのおかげでようやくチケットも使い切れたよ<笑>まあ俺の方もいろいろ回れて一緒にチケットを使わせてくれてあんがとよ<笑>どういたしましてジュンどうかしたのかあうん別に大したことじゃないけどささっきの占いも意外と興味深くて面白かったけどこうと一緒じゃなかったらずっと入らなかったかもなってえ<笑>考えてみればずっとそうなんだよねこの森宮でみんなと過ごす中でいろいろなものを見て経験して僕自身ですら知らなかった自分の新しい一面に気づかされたりもして子たちに会えて本当に良かったと思ってるよ何をいきなり口走ってんだってのまあ否定はしねえけどな<笑>今日はありがとねこうこの後はバイト入ってるんだっけ気をつけてねああありがとよ
This is the place that I identified. I haven't really seen anything weird here. It's happened here since this whole Kugiyama thing, though. Whatever the case, the readings are getting stronger. There's no doubt that something is present here. Initiate an eclipse search. sense anything dangerous. I've never seen anything like this before. I wonder what's waiting inside. Doesn't matter. I'm ready for anything. Let's go, Hiroki. Right, Tokisaka. Huh. Yeah, that's definitely different. Amazing. Haha. <laughs> I was kinda at a loss for words there. We did go through a gate, right? Definitely, no doubt about it. Which means this is... You いや、今回僕は何も干渉していないわ。ここは言うなれば迷宮ではない異界。ザナドゥが持つもう一つの側面とも言える場所さ。迷宮ではない異界。異界のもう一つの側面。話には聞いたことがあるけど。そう。本当
これからも頑張りましょう時坂くん XRC のみんなと一緒に After a while, the eclipse began to fade away. We exited that place while feeling pangs of unexplained nostalgia. Afterwards, we went to the cafe in Bergali and relaxed for a while in a peaceful silence. Your bond with Asuka got stronger. Okay, we're done here. で僕が料理をなんだ簡単じゃんそれじゃあ始めちゃうあこれ結構いけるかもそれじゃあ始めちゃうあこれ結構いけるかも
さーてやるかこんなのはどうだよし見つけたか行くぜ。
りするぜ。
りするぜ切り裂け切り裂け仕方ないなあ、宝箱です
God of War. And I got another free top point. this time. Toki Saka. You're right. I heard from Shio about what he was trying to hide. So, Chaos called you out? So they're finally on the move? Yeah, they finally got their shit together. They're hell-bent on taking out the one obstacle keeping them out of Mora Mia. Me. Seems like a first year Moramiya Academy student is being held hostage. I was told to go to the underpass alone if I want the hostage returned in one piece. Heh. <laughs> Using the same tired tactics. But I won't repeat what happened the last time with Aki. Shio, you're right. There's no point in walking into such an obvious trap. There's no time to call anyone else. It's going to have to be the two of us. Alright. Take you up on your offer to help. Let's go, Tokusaka. これから<笑> おとこじゃねえか、高畑よ。なめられたもんだ。高畑さん人程度で俺を倒せるとでも思ってんのか。さすがにそこまで思い上がっちゃいねえさ。だが、これならどうや。てめえら。<笑><笑><笑> せいぜい敵は死ねえこったな。1年半前みたいな結末はさすがに勘弁だ。それじゃあ早速リンチを始めるとしようか。なに<笑> 
おとなしくしてさえいりゃ半殺し程度で済ましてやるぜさせるかよな仲間だとよそ見してていいのかてめえでしまいだせいぜい刻んでおきなチャチな刃物程度じゃ俺たちの炎は消せねえブレイズ魂は何度でも燃え上がるってなあ<笑>すげえよあんたたち<笑>とか最大のチームの割には大したことのないやつらだったな<笑>所詮は暴走しただけの分隊みてえだからなケイオスの本体は最初から関わってねえようだしもう森宮が狙われることもねえはずだ<笑>一件落着っすねオンに切るぜ時坂おかげであの日のけじめの一つに型をつけられたみてえだ<笑>少しでも役立てたんならよかったっす Afterwards the police arrived at the underpass to get the situation under their control The rogue members of Chaos were arrested on the spot and Haruhiko was rescued. Shige came to the scene to make sure that we were let go before return to Haraicho. Your bond with Shio got stronger. Okay, still got two points left. Let's see, uh, there's Mitsuki, Rion, Sora, and Yuki. I haven't really hung out with Rion yet. Received a message card from Shio. Causing a scene, I don't know you, okay? Well, since you're here, why don't we go together? It's less conspicuous to leave guards with a boy on a date than to be a girl alone. I think that's probably more like pouring oil on a fire. Linking arms aside, she could probably use a break. Sure, I guess. It could be fun to spend time together. Oh, I didn't think you'd agree. <laughs> Let's go then. Just be prepared that we might start gossip about our toward love affair. Uh, let's maybe not link arms. We wander through the stores inside the tower. Once we finish shopping, she leads me to a spot. said you wanted to take me someplace out of the ordinary. Didn't think it'd be the theater. Doesn't look like anything's going on today, but is it really okay to be going inside? <laughs> Being a staff member has privileges. 
Normally, people don't get to see a theater on a dark day, so it's out of the ordinary, right? I suppose. It's really quiet. Way different from how it was during your anniversary show. It's usually like this when there's no audience. But I kind of like it. It's like the calm for the storm. You know, just looking at the stage makes me want to start singing. Why don't you take a seat and listen? Yeah, of course. きらりこもれびのした笑い合って過ごしたまいにちさりげないつながりにどれだけの強いもらえたかもらえたかもらえたかもらえたかもらえたかもらえたかもらえたかもらえたかもらえたかもらえたかもらえたかもらえたかもら
ありがとうございましたいらっしゃいませございましたpackage my parents 
A letter from my father was inside. A letter? What was it about? Ahaha, <laughs> it's nothing to worry about. No big deal. But I guess I'm no match for him after all. I don't know what's going on, but maybe I could listen to her like an older brother would. Would you like to tell me about it? I don't know how much I can help, but I can at least listen to you. Cool. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, thank you. We decided to go to Brick Alley to relax. I listen as Sora tells me the contents of the letter from her father. You've built a wall around yourself that only you can destroy. You must find and strengthen your own courage. The path to martial arts mastery begins there. I've heard something along those lines before. My father just said them to me just before I left home. I see. I think he knew from the start that all the real challenges I would have to overcome would begin after I arrived in Tokyo. And that I'd hit a wall and fall into a slump that I wouldn't be able to shake myself out of. Hit a wall, huh? It definitely sounds like he's trying to help you in that letter. He could have just come out and said what needed to be said, though. <laughs> Discovering the true meaning behind the words is a major part of his style of training. And if I can't figure it out on my own, it just means I need to train even harder. And with the summer tournament coming up, I need to get better if I'm going to meet expectations. Sora. Oh! Oh my gosh, he's so cute! Poor kitty. Is that a stray cat? What's it doing here? Someone must have dumped it here. Man, what a shitty thing to do. If you're going to abandon your pets, why get one at all? Aww. I can't keep pets where I live. I'm feeling more pathetic now. Martial arts are for helping those that can't help themselves. And I can't even do that for a kitty. It's like there's no point in me trying to get stronger when all I do is fail. Sora, why don't we find it a home? Huh? We know a bunch of people in town, right? I'm sure we can find someone who will take it in. Oh, you're right. We could definitely do that much. I went with Sora all around the city in search of a home for the kitty. We went to Shopping Street first, as we were close to everybody there. We then talked to the other XRC folks, the Karate Club, Yukino, and a bunch of others. And as a result... I have confirmed with my parents that we can adopt it. Really? Oh yeah, that's right. You have tons of cats at home, don't you, Hitomi? Well, I just sort of picked them up. Picked them up. Since I pay for their upkeep and food, my parents don't object. Anyway, don't worry. I'll take good care of it. Alright, you're a lifesaver. Thank you, Hitomi! Aww. Yare, yare. いい<笑> あの猫を助けてあげられたのは私たちだったから。それはきっとお父さんとは全く別の強さです。壁が人それぞれ存在するなら乗り越える方法もまた人それぞれ。
人と比べる必要なんてなくてただ自分自身の分を求めればいいそれがお父さんが伝えたかった言葉の意味なんだと思いますなるほど自分自身の分かできれば私は今回みたいに誰かを守るために強くなりたいそのための鍵は XRC でこそつかめるような気がします<笑>そうかもしれないな改めてよろしくなソラ XRC のみんなと本当の意味で強くなるためにもはいこれからもよろしくお願いしますさてと。
すっかなどうすっかな<音楽>さてと。どうすっかな。さてと。さてと。さてと。
どうすっかなどうすっかな
さてと。どうすっかな<音楽>さてと。どうすっかな
どうすっかなさてと。どうすっかな「どうすっかな」どうすっかな「さてと」さてと。Okay, I'm back. Sorry if I kept you waiting a while longer than I expect than you expected. I think it's longer than I expected, also. <laughs> anyway, I used up all my free time events, so it's time to continue the story now. Although, kind of thinking of, kind of thinking of running a another. 
running another dungeon one time, and then I'll probably continue. Let's see. Okay, everyone's level 30 now, so... Let's see, I need fire. So I'll keep Po. Fire, steel, and spirit.
するぜ the dodge roll definitely I def in gaming as a whole I'm better at dodging than blocking Lucky. which uh, I don't think this has a block option anyway but even if it did I'd be better at dodging
開けたぜお宝ゲットそれ、ね、で、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、
um, and then the school uniforms and casual wear for everyone else. For everyone, including Sora, and then Sora got... Received a message card from Sora. I feel like there has to be a way to get more. Probably can buy some of them. Let me go... Let me go to... Back to the mall real quick. but no actual costumes. But yeah, let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, see, everyone's gotten their uniform and then their casual wear. The only other one that's gotten anything aside from that is Sora, who's gotten her, um, her jersey. So I don't know if there's another place to get more get more I don't know how to get more costumes aside from that oh it looks like there's a new series out the second series of the SD magical girl list of figures is out now collect the five main characters and one secret one today this round looks just as good as the first series Maybe I'll grab a few when I have the money let me see Laura and Emma, Gaius and Eustace, Milliam and Fee, Crow, and a secret character. Got Gaius and Eustace. Yes. Gaius and Eustace, that's an interesting combination. SD Crow. Yes. SD Laura and Emma. Yes. Volume 1. Oh, okay. So I'm done with Volume 1 now. <sighs> okay, one more time. If I get a repeat again, I'll stop for now. Okay. 
Which one did I not get? I didn't get Milliam and Fee, and I haven't gotten the secret character. Who was the secret character in the first one? I must have missed that. Let me look. Let's see. Alyssa and Mona. Demon Prince Reen. Sarah and, Sarah and Sharon. I don't know. Uh, maybe they weren't counting the special one when they said I completed it. Okay, let's see. So you said there is another... ...side quest to do, so let me see if I can find it. Doesn't look like it's here. That's your nudge. Okay, thanks. Let's see. Where have I not checked? Probably not here, since I just got a secret gate here. Uh, let's check the roof. <laughs> mm, nope, not the roof. I don't think. Oh, but yeah, I guess it is. Oh, hey, Tokusaka. Doing club activities again? Don't know the details, but Toa said you get some serious cardio out of it. Yeah, I guess so. I've been running around doing searches a lot recently, so that's not far off. Toa asked me to watch out for you, and I'd like to help. But it looks like all I can really do is offer to train you. Really offer us to train you. Uh, I guess so. Kill me now. Oh, I know! I'll lend you this! Oh. Is this the key to the pool? Yep, the swim club's not using it right now, so go nuts. It'll be free all day. Swimming's a great way to build up your stamina and constitution. Wish I could train you myself, but I'm working with Ayato right now, so I can't. Yep, yeah, but if you fancy a bit of self-training, I can give you the approval to use it. I get it. Well, if we find the greed more often now. So if everyone works out and gets stronger, all the better. Huh, <laughs> looks like you see the potential in a bit of training. That's the spirit. Well, the key is yours to use as you see fit, so go get fit! Thanks. Train at the pool, huh? I should give it a go when I have a minute. Uh, I guess I could give that a try. To victory! Victory! Go! More Mia Academy! Yeah, yeah! More Mia! Come on, Ayato, say it loud and proud. This is the big show of the Summer Forge Festival, and you're a part of it. Okay! What are you reading, Shi Shiori? Man, I'm seeing a lot of typos at this point in the game. Oh, 
with a new book this month. I thought I'd read out after. I thought I'd read after looking something up, then go home. Well, don't be too late, okay? <laughs> I know. Oh, I'm sorry. But can you hold on a second? I think I just got a text. Hmm. Oh, it's from Rion. Rion? Wait, when did you two get so close? I think it started the last swim class. We just kind of clicked. It looks like Rion's at Akros Tower now. She says we're totally going together next time. <laughs> Somehow, she still comes across as energetic even in text. Haha, <laughs> this is unexpected. But I get the feeling they'll be good friends. Aw, oh, Tokusaka, you have impeccable timing. Do you have a minute? Um, sure, what's up? You've been reading a lot as of late, correct? Word around the campfire is that you've been going outside of what we have in the library. Uh, yeah, kind of. I've come across a bunch of books that have piqued my curiosity as of late. <laughs> that is music to my ears. Reading books will fill not only your mind, but your soul as well. I've been giving books, I've been giving students with a bibliophile file been small presents to encourage their reading habits. Here you are. Please use this. Please take this. Oh. An element for a soul device? Miss Komachi, this is... <laughs> Isn't it pretty? I found this on the trail when I was hiking last weekend. I don't think it's a precious jewel or anything, but I want you to have it. I can't believe she just randomly tripped over an element. If you insist, I'll gladly take it off your hands. Um, Miss Komachi? Yes, what's wrong? Um, you like to hike, huh? I assume it has nothing to do with one to accidentally run into Mr. Goro. It's an adult thing, you wouldn't understand. Toe's virtue increased. Kusanagi. Plus, attack plus 15, 60% plus 60 chance to stun foe. Oh, there we go. Well, oh, is it in the pool? We use the pool when you all do bit train together. They have the keys, so maybe I should call everyone. All right, let's get everyone together. Uh, this one did what? Oh, yeah, okay, that was it. Start a quest, different strokes. Anyway, that's why we can use the pool, and why I called you all here. Doing a bit of training by swimming is a great idea. Yeah, we'll have to remember to thank Miss Kokonoe and Miss Saki. Yay, pool party! You gotta be kidding me. Why the heck should I swim when it's not even gym? 
<laughs> Looks like, yeah, I've, not everyone's into it. So, Tokusaka, what sort of training did you have in mind? Er, sorry, I didn't really have anything specific planned. I just thought that everyone would jump in and do their own thing. Oh, in that case, wanna try out my training method? You've got an idea? Yeah, it's not exactly about swimming, but we used to do this back when I was in Blaze. It was pretty popular because it brings out some serious inner potential. That sounds interesting. Yeah, perfect. Please teach us that. Alright then. Here goes. This is the training method Blaze style. It's pretty simple. You compete one-on-one -on -one in a race. This feels familiar. Th that does sound pretty simple. How is that supposed to be training? It will be. If you got competition, you'll push yourself. Let's start off with swimming at full speed for 20 minutes. Let's try it out. Sora, be my partner? Sure! Shall we? Haha, <laughs> no way I'm gonna lose to you. Oh, and you probably know already, but don't forget to warm up. If you've got any questions, let me know. Now start! Alright! Uh, <laughs> poor Yuki. <laughs> A few minutes later. Whoa, those two look like pros. Hmm, I keep messing up my crawl form. Takahata is one of the best among the seniors. I don't think I'm quite in that league yet myself. Yeah, seems like we split based on skill level instinctively. Well, we'll just go at our own pace for now and let them do their thing. Or else, that happens. <laughs> DL complete. Beep beep, I score this game at 6 out of 10. He seems to be taking quite a number of breaks. Yeah, I gotta get him to take it seriously. Shio did ask me to handle this side. Who should I ask to swim with me? <laughs> uh, should I be mean and, ask and get Yuki to join with Yuki, or should I choose one of the girls? <laughs> I imagine this is for some kind of bonus with said character. That's true. Hmm. Rion? Okay. I was kind of thinking that myself. So, Rion it is. Rion, wanna go swim? Sure! <laughs> Aren't you a lucky boy getting to swim up close and personal with a real idol? Yeah, whatever. Oh yeah, about the trouble with your crawl form that you were talking about before. Huh? Your form's not really the problem. It's your timing for when you take a breath that's off. I'll swim with you, so try and match me. Uh, oh, really? <laughs> Thank you. But we're still racing. I'm not gonna lose to you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's hope I can win this. Yeah, I know how to do it. Dang, is Rion that bad? Because I messed up a lot on that.
Aw, I lost. Lame. <laughs> but it was a good match. Seems like you figured out the timing of the breast, too. Do a few more laps and I'm sure you'll nail it down. Yep, yep. Practice time. Now I'm getting fired up. Thanks, Ko. Haha, <laughs> no prob. Yep, got a little... Got 50 point boost. Ko's courage increased. After 20 minutes passed, the members were near in their limit. Except Yuki, who didn't do a damn thing. <laughs> Phew. We really did all go, go all out for 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm beat. Yes, but it was good training. Huh? What are you guys talking about? We're just getting started. Oh boy. What? Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> now that you know each other's general strengths, it's time for the challenge. You pick out the person you want to beat and then race again. If you're all tired, then your strength doesn't matter. What matters in the end is willpower. Show some guts. That inner potential you that inner potential you talked about in the beginning was this? S so that's what he meant. We should have guessed since it's the delinquent's training method. Shut the hell up and do it! Don't you want to get stronger? Don't you feel ashamed when facing powerful enemies? Don't you want to get better so that you never have to feel that way again? Well... He's right. If we don't challenge our limits now, when are we going to? I never want to go through that again. I uh, everyone's sore as I'll get out right now. But I don't want to lose either. As a wielder of a soul device, I cannot back down. There has to be something past my limit, and I want to grab a hold of it. Heh, <laughs> thought you'd say that. Alright, Tokusaka, you're up first. Choose your opponent. Alright. I should challenge the strongest one here. The first one I want to face is... Uh... I'm gonna go with... Uh... I think I'll go with Sora. Sora, you're strong. You might be the fastest out of everyone here. That's why I want to challenge you. Ko, I accept. Please go all out. Yep, let's hope I do this. my limit. You really are tough for an underclassman. Haha, <laughs> I think I was able to push past my limit too. Ko, let's swim together again. Yeah, definitely. You you two hurry up and come back. We're starting the next one. Yes, okay, okay. Ko's courage increased. Back and forth, we challenged each other again and again for the next 30 minutes. The XRC members swam until we could swim no more. Phew. This feels kind of good somehow. Yeah. I'm tired, but it's satisfying. Right. I had no idea I could swim that much. I wonder how much distance we covered. It was definitely a fulfilling way to spend the time. See? It's way better than training on your own. Total. Totally. It really gave us a chance to see where we're at. I think that's enough for now. Alright, now for the finale. What? You've got to be kidding me. Before everyone takes off, stretch for three sets. Then we'll clean up and leave. God, you almost gave me a heart attack. <laughs> is that Bla is that Blaze style too? <laughs> He's right though. We have to finish things properly. All right, let's get started. Yeah!
Complete the quest, different strokes. Obtain 600 gems. Ko's virtue increased. Okay. Now I'm done with that, so... Uh, and I believe that was the only other side quest. Is that correct? get at least one more of these. that can't be fixed. Thanks to the insurance, it wasn't too bad, but it'll be a while before all my customers come back. Uh, I'll definitely be in the red this month. If there's anything I can do to help, please let me know. Thanks, Co. I can't give in to this depression.
それじゃあ始めちゃう何この。なんとかやってみますすみません食材
これ結構いけるかもさーてやるかよっしゃ上出来だそれじゃあ始めましょうえっと何これat Morimiya Memorial Park. All right, let's go. You're the tip guy, right? Yeah, that's me. Is this the check-in counter for the boat rentals? They should let you pet the cat. Yeah, would have been nice. Thanks for coming. There's something I really have to do. I just need you to handle the front desk until the store closes around dusk. Think you could start right now? Once you start the job, your free time period will end and the story will continue. Really? Thank you. Alright, now let me run down the job real quick. I was given a crash course in how to track the boats, take calls, etc. Right after, it was time to get to work. 4.50 p.m. Dear God, I didn't think it'd be this boring. Well, it's almost evening on a weekday. It's probably always like this. Maybe it being so chill today isn't such a bad thing. Hey, Snuggle Bunny. I'm really thirsty now. <laughs> then maybe we should head back then. We should stop by the cafe and get something sweet. You know, sweet like you. Oh, my cuddly boo bear. <laughs> my lord's scorching out and they're still... Whatever. Once I get back, I'll do a quick inspection of all the boats, and then... Hmm? Where'd that chill come from? <gasps> oh. Okay! Passion in young lovers' hearts is more intense than any heat wave. Yup. <laughs> the, the lake? Ah, what's going on? Help us! Ah, what's going on? Hold on, I'll be there in a sec. Five ten p.m. But not more than a freak frozen lake phenomenon. I know, right? <laughs> Thanks a lot, Tokusaka. I'm glad that couple was okay. It's still kind of early, but let's close up shop for the day. Um, are you sure? Well, they can't really, they can't really let anyone out, go out in a boat right now, can they? Yeah, and to be honest, this is hardly the time to be worrying about boats. And I certainly never expected something like this to happen. 
received 3,000 yen for my part-time job. Well, I think that's pretty much got back everything I spent in the groceries and the grocery marts just now, so there's no way something like this should ever be able to happen in the middle of summer. It's probably... Sora, Mitsuki, you heard about on the R? ええ、ちょうど近くでしたから。アスカさんや他のみんなもこちらに向かっているようです。でも、どんな被害につながるかもわかりませんし、私たちだけでも先に調査を始めませんか？ The Morimiya Academy news flash has arrived. Yeah, nothing really to do with this stream, but I kind of wanted to say that um, I might be getting close to the end of Monster Hunter Stories too. Let's see, uh... Guess I'll talk to these kids. Whoa, what's going on? We heard a bunch of people scream, so we turn around so the lake freeze over. Yeah, it's like, freeze! Huh? That's strange. Did it really freeze right before your eyes? Yeah, we're totally not lying. It was all watery, then it was all cold and hard. It's kind of scary. It doesn't sound like they're making things up. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. Anyone else I need to talk to here? Yep. Hey, isn't that the guy from earlier? You told me you saw them too, right? No, nope, must have just missed them. But there's no way it could have been him, though. I heard he took the day off today. Well, there is that, but... Marie, did you see something out of the ordinary? Um, no? Maybe? Never mind, it's nothing. But the person I saw wasn't wearing glasses, so it probably was someone else. Someone else? I'm not sure what you're talking about. But did you happen to witness the moment the lake froze over? Oh, that. Yeah, we saw it. Yep, or it was like the ice kind of ran over the surface of the water. Ran over the surface. Something to keep in mind. Yeah, hi, kitty. Did she give you a name yet? Yeah, this is a kitten we found during Sora's uh, free time event. And this girl here, Hitomi, took her in took it in. <laughs> uh, that was unexpected. I was gazing out over the lake when something like this happened. I still can't believe the lake froze instantly like that. I was so caught off guard that I admit I screamed. We should talk to our witnesses. Might give us a point of reference. Yeah, definitely something to keep in mind. After talking to everyone, there's something that's kind of bothering me. Let me guess. Everyone saw something different? Let's go over everything we learned. First, the old lady. She said, before I realized it, the lake was completely frozen. Yeah, the kids said something similar. They heard a commotion, and as they turned around, the lake froze before their eyes. But Marie and her group said it looked like the ice ran over the surface. That means the lake. That means there's a point on the lake where it started freezing. People began to freak out when they saw something was wrong with the lake. But at the time, the water near the kids wasn't frozen yet. That would mean that the lake couldn't have frozen all at once and would have had to start somewhere. Also, Marie's story backs up the idea of a starting point. Yeah, that's right. But if that's how things happen, then there's the issue of finding where the starting point was. 
Definitely. And it's probably connected to the Eclipse somehow. Actually, we can determine that based on what we already know. The flashpoint for the freeze is probably... That area on the... No, that's not it. The place to begin to freeze first, that's... Alright, fine. Where the old lady was, the north shore of the lake. Yes, that's the most likely place. Let's start heading there right now. Yes! shore of the lake. It looks like it started freezing over from here, but... Maybe if we go a little further up? I'm getting stronger eclipse readings here than some of the other places we looked. Shall we start looking for the gate? Got it. Now let's... longer before Asuka and the others arrive. We should drop them a line on the yard and then head inside. Roger. on the ice. Yeah. 
ただきます。
しゲットだソラうすみません気合を入れまし長いはしていられませんね。
お待たせしましたいいものを手に入れたな
Alright, let's see what kind of boss we're up against here. Anyone want to guess what it might be? <laughs> Just based on the motif? Didn't imagine anything like this. Elder Greed E E equals E self equals Celsius. So this is what caused the lake to freeze over. You too. Let's give it our all. Nice. 
シマムーレイジこうについて交代しますくだけちまだいけるぜですね。ですが。時坂くん。ひろぎ、みんなも。やれやれ。一足遅かったみてえだな。本当にマンションの目の前じゃん結構騒がしいけど池が凍ったって本当なのはい異界化が収束したらあっという間に溶けちゃってあくまで異界の冷蔵庫線による氷結得意点が消えたら現実世界における影響を保てなくなったんでしょうさすがはアスカさん気づいていいてたたみたいですねちなみにエルダーグリードは霊属性のエレメンタルでしたそうですかやっぱりえっとどういうことそれって異界で働いているあの法則のことですよねええ昨日から起きていた事件それらは異界の属性が現実世界で暴走したのが原因と考えて間違いないでしょう炎風鋼霊そして影で構成される五属性エルダーグリードの特徴から見てもこの凍結現象はレってことは柳スポーツで起こったのは
風高羽組は炎ってわけか確かに昨日のボヤもあっという間に消えたようだがなるほど完全に一致してるねとなると水道の凍結っていうのもそれが原因だったわけだな,なんとなく理解が追いついてきたけどどうしてそんなものが連続して起こっているわけそいつはた確かに属性の暴走考えたくはないけどひょっとして。規模ですが間違いありませんねええ10年ぶりかしらやれやれ厄介なことになったわねある地震とは根本的に異なるわ時空間そのものが振動する極めて得意な超常現象その後に起こった地震はあくまで余波に過ぎない時空間が振動する現象正直とんでも科学って切り捨てたいところだけどでもそう言われると納得ですまるで周りの空間と一緒に自分自身が揺らされたようなうん私も学園で同じ揺れを感じたけど普通の人は感じられないんだよねはい
認識できるのは的確者や霊能力感能力の高い人だけかとそして裏の世界においては最も恐れられる最悪の一つです神話級グリムグリードに引き起こされるという点においておいそいつは温泉の時に聞いたそれじゃあまさか10年前もそうだったってのかはええあの時は最悪のメカニズムまでは説明しきれなかったけど10年前に観測された直近かつ史上最大の虚空心それこそが東京明細なのよ<笑>夕闇の死と元凶となった神話級のグリムグリードは事件後にそう命名されました東京全土の空を黄色に染めるほどの異界化を引き起こした存在その権限と同時に最大規模の虚空心が連続して発生しそれに誘発され地震竜巻落雷さらに寒波や正気までが発生しました文字通り東京は混沌に包まれたんですその後ネメシスゾディアッククロノスオールデン異界に関わる三勢力の共闘によってそれでも3万人にも及ぶ犠牲は避けられなかったそれがあの日の真実ってわけか空の異常といいおかしな現象が起きてたって噂はされてたけどそんなことが裏で起こっていたなんて。<笑>本題はここからよ今回起きていると見られる異界属性の暴走東京明細の前兆として起きていたものに酷似しているの先ほど起きた虚空心の規模はその時の数千分の1程度だけどあれを引き起こした存在は確実にこの森宮に潜んでいるあ,あそっかそういうことだったのねええおそらくその存在こそ今年に入ってから森宮において異界事件を頻発させた元凶でしょうあまりに強すぎる怪異は存在するだけであまたの最悪を引き寄せてしまうものですから何者だ一体どこに隠れてやがるコウ君居場所については推測できる情報が少なすぎますですが正体についてはある一つの仮説が成り立つかと仮説10年前に討伐されたグリム・グリード夕闇の死とその眷属が生き残っている可能性がずっと指摘されていたのよ眷属魔女の時の黒犬や魔鳥と同じだが東京を壊滅させかけた化け物の眷属ともなればうん事態は一刻を争うだろう。お疲れ様です皆様先ほどの虚空心を持ってゾディアックも同じ結論に至った現在この町のどこかに夕闇の眷属がいる可能性は高いと言わざるを得まいおじい様ネメシスも同じ判断です現在私以外の執行者を派遣することも検討されていますうん兆候が始まった今もはや予断は許されぬはずだゾディアックネメシスがすでに対応に動き出した今 XRC 諸君君たちはどうするつもりだ
大切なものを守るそれが俺のいや俺たちの選んだ選択っす相手が何だろうがそれだけは変わりませんましてや10年前のあの最悪の残り火ってやつが森宮に降りかかろうとしてるのならなおさら引くわけにはいかねえはい降りかかる火の粉は払うのみです元ブレイズの名にかけてこの町はこの拳で守らせてもらうまあここまで来たからにはラスボスもきっちり止めないとねスピカの大切なホームの一つそんな最悪の好きにはさせない私も XRC におけるゾディアックの代表として同じく XRC におけるネメシスの代表として己の使命を全うするつもりですみんな決意は固そうですね<笑>ならば改めてお願いするどうか力を貸してほしい10年前の悪夢を晴らし森宮と東京を守るためにもはい Day three. <laughs>
let's wait and see until lunchtime. Lunch break. Alright, let's begin everyone. Just like with the fog incident, we'll be leaving early today. I've already prepared excuses for y'all. Thanks, Toa. No objections here. I feel a little guilty, but I guess there's no help in it. I don't feel bad at all. Haha, <laughs> I tend to be absent a lot because of work anyway. So it's no big deal to me. Now, let's go over a few things before we head out. The location of the kin is currently known. Since we don't have any clues, our only option is to target any signs of the elements going haywire. Wind, fire, and spirit already manifested. All the with the elements that go crazy. You think we can find the location of the source? Yes, that's the only way to approach the eclipse. And in addition to that... We need to check out where our currently MIA Mr. Goro has been. Um, say what? You're telling me the hottest teacher in school is the mastermind? I can't say for sure whether or not he's the one behind all this. But I definitely saw him inside the eclipse at the park. I do remember seeing a shadow in the mist then. Someone similar was also there during the fire at Haraicho, right? Yeah. He wasn't as wearing his glasses though, so I didn't peg it as him at the time. But now that I think about it, he was definitely there. Same with the slashing wind thing at the shopping street. We heard he was there, too. And eyewitness accounts from the frozen pi water pipe incidents also mentioned a tall man. To top it off, his past is a complete fabrication. His personal and work history prior to coming to Morimiya Academy was all a lie. Yep, yep, I checked it out myself. The guy's a total fake. He's no ordinary teacher, that's for sure. He seems totally guilty. As his former co-worker, it certainly all feels very strange. Either way, there's no mistake in his involvement. He has something to do with the string of incidents. He's worth chasing after by following Horace's predictions. Yeah, he ran a room in Harai Cho. Let me have a look there. In that case, I want to go with you. I saw him at the karaoke place a few times. Let's decide who does what and begin our investigation. Uh, select another party member. Ko and Rion are required. Well, we just brought Sora and Asuka. Let's take Shio this time. The XRC members split up into two teams. My group headed to Horaicho, while the others targeted another part of town. We should get going. Okay, are we going to Horaicho right away? There's not much time. We should leave. We should leave during the break. There we go. The glass is really necessary. At school, everything's fine, but out in the city, things can be, un can be unpredictable, you know. After our anniversary concert, it seems like more paparazzi have been lurking about. Haha, <laughs> the price of idol stardom, huh? Anyway, let's go. 
Obtain Rion's uniform, casual clothes, and disguise glasses. Mr. Goro lives in the apartments across from that one karaoke place. Rion, you've seen him around here, right? Yeah, he mentioned he lived in the area where when he was lecturing me about being out so late. After chewing me out, he wished me good luck, so he's a lot cooler than most teachers. Let's move. Make sure you're prepared for anything. Entering the apartment building will progress the story. Alright. I kinda wish I could get this one. I need Shadow Raid and Shadow Shell 3 though.
hell, look who's came on. Just a sec. Okay, we're back. Now we'll see if he joins in or not. Let's see, I was trying to pick up, see if I had anything better for Asuka. join in or not. <laughs> uh, let me see if he even stayed on. Just a sec. Uh, no he didn't. Okay. False alarm then, I guess. I'm so sorry about that. Ninja? Uh, just a sec. Okay, sorry about that. Let's go and let's check out Goro's place. This is where Mr. Goro lives. What do you want to do? Visit him right now? Entering the apartment building will progress the story. Goro's locked. Excuse me, is anyone home? No one's home. He's not here. What should we do now? Hiragi could open the lock with no problems. Asuka can do that? She can do pretty much anything. Well, we'll be breaking in or it's an emergency. Let's give her a call. You're from the Takahane group. 
Goto. <laughs> you <laughs> grow now. Um, what are you doing here? Nani. Okto no Kaicho Sankara Chotosta Yosega Tena. The Kaika Shigatskura Sodakara. Oyajimo Harikichimaturunda. Sorani Saikitano Gare no Boya ni Kakawa Terunara no Sarada. Hake? That sounds ominous. Yo, chill out. Don't scare civilians like that. Todama Omara ni Karimar. Proceed the key from Goto. Is this for this apartment? Convenient. Thank you. あの佐伯って男この会話で何度か見かけたことがあるが、野草男風に見えてあれはかなりの修羅場をくぐってるそう。That was scary. Him talking about people surviving hell really didn't help much. Okay, let's see if the key works. Talk about bleak. Considering how he dresses, I thought his place would be more decorated. Anyway, let's see what we can find. Hey, it looks like there's something stuck between the page to that book. Really? Let me see. It looks like a map of Morimiya. Shopping Street, Haraicho, and Memorial Park have all been circled. Those match up with the spots where the yellow minnows were now control. This can't be a coincidence. Hey, there's something on the other side. What is it? Set distance from point Q. No changes for awakening phase. Point Q and awakening phase? What does it mean? I don't know. They seem like code for something. Looks like an important clue to me. Want me to take a picture with my iPhone? Yeah, take one of each side, please. This photo. Oh, she's pretty. Girlfriend, maybe? But it seems kind of old. Yeah, they barely look older than us in this picture. Did you notice something? No, it's nothing. Anyway, I'll take a picture of it with my iPhone. Might hold some clues. That seems to be it. It's a big apartment, but he sure doesn't own much. This place barely feels lived in. Hmm. He does seem to eat here, at least. Anyway, I'm wondering about the code on the back of the map. See what the other members think. I contacted the rest of the XRC, and we all gathered at Yuki's to look over the clues we found. There's something.
something about this note on the map that I can't let go of. The distance from point Q remains the same. No change during the awakened phase. It's obvious that they have some kind of objective or goal. This point Q must be the place where whatever they have planned is going to happen. At the very least, it'll give it'll give a place to start looking. Maybe. And about this awakened phase thing. We're not sure if a breed of twilight actually exists though. At the very least, it sounds like there's something Cthulhu like slumbering in the deep. Yes, it's kinda creepy. It's like there's some grand plan unfolding right under our noses that we know nothing about. Um, so what should we do now? Point Q seems like the thing we should be focused on. But I doubt they were stupid enough to write down an exact location. But I think we have all the hints we need to figure things out. That's your professional opinion, I take it? Point Q. Can we really figure out where or what it is? What to help us find point Q? You can choose up to two options. The term... Point Q. The term awaken phase, how the distance is fixed, uh, the circles on the map. I want to say these two. Tokusaka, so they came to you? Come to you? Yeah, maybe. I think the check mark on the map and the distance from point Q remains the same might be the keys. Um, it's all referring to the instance that had to do with the different attributes, right? It says that the distance from point Q remains the same. Meaning that once we find out what is always the same from point Q, the rest should fall into place. Ah, you might be right. I see. That's a rather astute observation. There's only three real locations marked here. If we measure out a point that's equal distance from these places, we'll be able to narrow things down. Yeah, and the location that's most likely to be it, and the, and the location that's the most likely to be it is... Choose the location of point Q. Uh... I feel like it has to be this. Equal distance from all places. Is this place okay? Yeah. I feel like it has to be this place. Here, the place in the center of all three locations. The station square. If we assume that the breed of dusk is lurking somewhere in this area, and the surrounding areas were affected by the elemental rampage, then it'd make perfect sense. There's no mistake then. Yup, yup, I think we hit the jackpot. But where in the station would we find the cause? Yeah, the station is a big place, and there are always a lot of people around. Maybe it's underground? Underground? There were plans to build a subway in Moramiya City, but the Tama Monorail project kicked off not long after, so the subway kind of fell by the wayside. But I heard that there are still a few tunnels left over the over from the construction under Station Square. Is that so? I remember hearing rumors about that when I was a kid. The two attributes we haven't seen yet are steel and shadow. And there's an obvious connection between steel and earth. 
So that might be as good a place as any to begin investigating any elemental rampages. Then it's settled. Let's all head towards Station Square. Looks like we hit pay dirt. Ah, oh, that's right. You were trying to track down the woman in the picture. Good job, you. Never call me that again. Anyway, let's see what I found. Name Futaba Ichinose. Died March 15th, 2005. Age 18 years. <gasps> the... The date! It's from that day, ten years ago. You're right. Long distance relationship. So that's what it was. Ko's wisdom increased. Once we're ready, let's head out to Morimiya Station. I think Mr. Psyche is planning on doing the same, but even he doesn't know what's waiting for us. Yeah, we'd better stay on our toes. We should take the time to beef up our soul devices and other stuff, just in case. Yeah, if we're missing anything, we should probably go buy them. And in any case, this is the point of no return. Exactly. It's up to us to keep a second Tokyo Twilight disaster from happening. Alright, let's get going. All the XRC members have gathered together. All the areas in the city except Morimiya Academy have been unlocked. Okay. I think I will... Well, I'll go ahead to the shopping street first of all. Actually, no. Brick Alley is where I want to go. Okay. Would I be safe to assume that this sounds like we're getting close to the end game to you guys? The reason I'm asking is because I want to know. Oh, it seems the gang's all here. I want to know. I'm kind of feeling like at this point I should just spend as much of my. as much of the. as much money as I can at this point. Or as much as I need to. So, Miss Hokuto, have you found out anything about Mr. Psyche? No. At least nothing worthwhile. Ugh. You're supposed to be an informant. Did you two even talk to each other? Did you find out anything, Yukino? While his entire public history is a sad tissue of lies, I was able to glean some information. However, there's a million different ways to interpret said info. So I have nothing definitive. Hey, Rio! Hello! I'm still streaming at the moment, but I thought I'd invite you in anyway. Okay. If you don't mind. No, I don't mind. Uh, while you're doing that, I'll see if I can get myself caught up on uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Because uh, recall, I couldn't finish the duel. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Alright. Go, yeah, go ahead and do that. Okay. My pardon for interrupting your Xanadu fans, so... Uh, no problem. <laughs> I may, I may not, I may end the stream fairly soon anyway, because I feel like I'm getting towards the end game now. So all I want to do now is um, get the items I need to finish upgrading all my characters, okay. and then the next time I stream, which I don't know when that'll be, because the next few days we have storms in the forecast. So I don't know that how that's. Huh? Does that mean you're going to be out for a, a anime night tomorrow night? Uh, we'll see. Okay. Because I need to see what's going to happen with my streams also. I see. Then it's better if we don't ask. Wow. We did all that for basically nothing. Yep, but that's all we can do now. Cool. Yeah, let's keep looking. Uh, I came here to do some shopping. <laughs> let's see. Uh, I need to see what I need, first of all. Let me see what I need, first of all. Um, 
Which means I need to go to the blacksmith first. <laughs> I uh, got a voicemail from Shiori. Recently, I've been remembering a lot of my, of my childhood dreams. It seems like we're always together, huh? Anyway, sorry to make you worry, so... I'll be sure to rest up. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with her. I mean, the official explanation is that she's out with a cold, but I feel like something else is going on. Uh... Oh, okay. Huh, it looks like you understand the situation well enough. The thing causing the hollow quakes is somewhere in the city. And it somehow has managed to stay out of sight and mind for almost ten years now. Yes, but we're going to find it and stop it. Jihei, please help us in any way you can. Oh, brother, you guys always seem to be sticking your necks out, but I can't fault your resolve. Don't worry, we've been preparing for this for a while now. We have a few things we'll find useful. But for now, your priority needs to be tracking down the source of everything that's happening now. Yeah, better hurry. Okay, let's see. Ooh, uh, what do I need? I need raging firestone, fish scales, amber oil. I'm not enough. I'm gonna be able to remember all this. Okay, let me see what she has. Okay, let's see what I can get now.
また来い Yeah, sorry for being quiet, everyone. I'm trying to keep my mind on what I need to. what all I'm going to need to upgrade everything. You're good, Stalo. Yeah, I think I. I think I do need more fire stones. Well, I may have already done everything I can then, as far as actually buying the stuff I need. Uh, let me double check. Face down magic, and I can't do a darn thing. Shattering horn, creation or <laughs> Mata Koi. Yeah, 
there's the Shattering Horn. So she has that. And what about Creation Ore? Nope. <laughs> Doesn't have Creation Ore. <laughs> so it's done, eh? He's got that combo again of the uh, the the DNA mutation oh, and okay. the insect barrier. And oh yeah. I've just not drawn any cards to get rid of that to get rid of that. Right. Until he does, all I can do is just throw up a defense a defensive wall. Right. I've even I was even successfully able to use Time Wizard twice, but not the third time. The third time it cost me a huge chunk of life. Right. I think it's going to be better if I just do this off camera because what I'm thinking is maybe do it during the daytime when I have more light and I can write all this down. <laughs> write down all the stuff I'm going to need. <laughs> and I can probably also look up which dungeons has the stuff I need that I can't buy. So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the stream here for tonight and... Like I said, I'll work on this more off camera, so hopefully I can get everyone properly equipped to for what I assume is gonna be the final dungeon. <laughs> so as always you can follow my uh my YouTube channel link below to see my past streams as well as my Twitter account to be notified when I go live or for other notifications. Um and, uh, do you want to stream tonight, Rio, or not? Uh, it's only 11-something. Yeah, but you'll, you have to work tomorrow, don't you? Yeah, but that, what is that different than the other Sunday night? Well, what I'm thinking is, let's see how long it takes you to win that duel. I'm not going to be winning this particular, uh, duel tonight. Or at least, this particular, uh... Exchange. He's at eight thousand. I'm at fifty six fifty. It's right, turn that's what I mean. Well, what do you want to do then? Card advantage. No, I want to keep going. If you can, because I, I'll give you two. I have two polymerizations and two graceful dice. I've got uh, battle warrior, 
Garuzis, Panther Warrior, and uh, Gear Freed all right. in defense mode. Oh, okay. And I just summoned, and I just got another, and I just drew another Gear Freed. Oh, okay. So, and he, on the other side, I don't know what he has hidden, but he's got that DNA surgery. Right. And insect barrier. Right. Well, anyway, like, I'll go, yeah, I'm going to so, go ahead and end my stream for now, because like I said, okay. I think everything I'm needing to do to get ready, I think it's better I do off camera. <laughs> okay. You can always just chat with me or, you know, watch uh, my progress on Skype. Well, actually, I was thinking you could share your gameplay with me on the PlayStation 4 directly. Okay. Anyway, um... Uh... Who don't want to host tonight? Uh, let's go and host Josh Scorcher. Looks like he's playing Dungeon. And give me a moment, Rio. I'll join you in a moment. It's fine. I've sent so you the I'll just stick around so. for that. And yeah. And I hope I will try to be back tomorrow, but it uh, it will depend on the weather. That's the whole reason I stream tonight. Because we got storms in the forecast in the next few days, so we'll just have to see how it goes. So hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. If not, I will stream as soon as I can. So, um, so I hope you all have a great night. And if I don't, if Frio and I don't see you later, I hope you enjoy the rest of your night. I already said that. I uh, hope you enjoyed the rest of your weekend. So have a good night and take care, everyone. Bye.